that major announcement regarding the fight against COVID-19 in Oregon. The federal government is sending out hundreds of thousands of COVID-19 tests across the country. And Oregon leaders just said, you saw it live here on Fox 12, they just said that the state will receive 60 to 80,000 rapid result antigen tests per week. It was announced during that news conference with Governor Kate Brown and representatives from the Oregon Health Authority. And this comes as Oregon has seen a spike in cases. Fox 12's Amber Wilmarth is live at the mobile newsroom with more on what this means for Oregonians. Some, some significant news here, Amber. It really is, Pete. And as you said, that press conference just wrapped up moments ago. The director of the Oregon Health Authority says Oregon will be receiving, as you said, 60 to 80,000 rapid antigen tests per week through the end of the year. And those tests are going to be distributed to the most vulnerable communities first. That's according to Governor Kate Brown. And this doubles Oregon's current testing capacity. The Oregon Health Authority director says this will help with contact tracing allow the state to expand testing guidelines from not only people with symptoms, but to those who are around them as well. And it also just overall cuts off the path for the virus to spread. Well, this testing is vital. He says it is important that people keep up with physical distancing, wearing masks, washing hands, and avoiding large gatherings, especially as we enter the colder weather. Governor Brown says testing is an important piece of the puzzle, but adds it won't change current safety measures in place. Testing is an excellent tool to give us a more full picture of where the virus is hiding in our communities. Unfortunately, it's not a cure-all or the solution to all of our problems. We cannot test our way out of this pandemic. Governor Brown also brought up the metrics for opening schools. She says those do remain in place. Under the state's current metrics, students cannot go back to class until there are less than 10 cases per 100,000 students. But Governor Brown did say they will be reevaluating evaluating the reopening school metrics in the coming weeks, and we will get that information as it comes in. But for now, that remains in place. Of course, we will have more on this coming up at 4 o'clock. But for now, reporting live from the Mobile Newsroom, Amber Wilmarth, Fox 12, Oregon.